Hi, I'm Mark Boyer, and I'm the Executive Director of the International Studies Association and a Board of Trustees Professor at the University of Connecticut. Open access is growing in importance in the social science realm, and ISA is very much squarely a, an interdisciplinary social science association, but it's, a, it's relatively new in that venue. But one of the things that we know is happening is that there are many, many changes on the horizon in the academic publishing market, and we know we need to stay ahead of the curve. And so thinking about this and with consultation with Oxford, um, we launched Global Studies Quarterly as our primary open access outlet uh, for the association, and it's done remarkably well. But I think that that's really where we see the future of much of what we do going, even if um, we have six other journals that are um, you know, still in the traditional uh, pay for subscription uh, uh, model. A more open research environment, I think, has a variety of impacts for um, our association membership in particular. Um, we have a, a chunk of our membership is from the developing world, given the topics that we address within the international studies realm. And um, many scholars in the global south are you know, still struggling to get access to publications through their libraries to get access to publications even through their own uh, their own personal subscriptions just because of financial constraints and by providing open access if they have an internet connection they can get at um, you know cutting edge scholarly research from that environment and I think that's really important um, and so from that standpoint we're providing an opportunity for um, some underserved populations in the international studies field to get better access to um, uh, to our research in the area. The other thing, crank, quite frankly, is that this is also an effort at royalty protect, uh, protection. Um, you know, our publication portfolio is a significant source of revenue for our association. And so looking at the traditional subscription uh, publication model and uh, where the field may or may not be going, we really need to be thinking about um, how we protect those royalties, protect that revenue source. And in collaboration with Oxford, I think the, the GSQ launch is an important aspect in that looking forward. A lot of work that we do is indeed funded by uh, our publishing portfolio. And so if we look at what we do with Oxford, whether it's through our journals footprint or also with the Oxford Research Encyclopedia of International Studies, um, I'll, we get a significant chunk of our association revenue through that. And so, you know, everything from uh, mentoring programs to uh, other kinds of professional development and lots of other places, uh, those would be more constrained, more limited if we didn't have that kind of footprint. The other thing I think that um, we need to note is the degree to which this provides opportunities for scholars to get access to um, the, the popular press in a way that wouldn't be the case with the gated subscription model. And so just within a couple of months of initial publication of the first issue of Global Studies Quarterly, we had two different articles quoted in the New York Times and a couple of other, a couple of other um, uh, media outlets that would not have been quoted uh, because, the, because of the gated model if those articles had been published in the normal subscription model. The editors that we were able to find um, to take over, uh, really to lead Global Studies Quarterly in its inaugural volume, are, have just done an extraordinary uh, job of pulling in scholarship from around the world, finding ways for scholars to be able to fund their open access work, because this is new in the social sciences. And, you know, so most of our um, submitters are not used to this model where they have uh, you know, author publication costs and that sort of thing. And so that was new, but uh, Brent Steele and Yelena Sabatich have just done an extraordinary job of developing and cultivating Global Studies Quarterly.